Well then, welcome to another Fish with Jay vlog. Today we are down in Kent, a uh, sort of Tunbridge area. We're at Elphix Fishery and we're actually fishing Plantation Lake. Now there's me, Steve and Ollie on this session, so we're all sort of filming a little piece of the vlog here and there. And uh, yeah, we, this session was booked easily with Swimbooker. Now Swimbooker is such an easy site to use. You can find fisheries near you, around you, or even new fisheries that you might want to visit. Or even if you want to visit sort of fisheries abroad, sort of like France or things like that. But yeah, I won't go into too much detail as later in the video we'll go all the way through what they offer, how good the site is, and what I can say now is it is brilliant. But yeah, we're at Elphix Fishery. It was uh, an early start this morning, half four. Um, I woke up, uh, Steve got to me at half five. We packed the car, and uh, yeah, we come down here. Uh, we went over the Dartford uh, Bridge, so yeah, that was sort of a nice little view to see and um yeah we got to the pegs we got to the lake sorry we had a couple of walk round and uh yeah steve he got first pick because he won the spin the wheel and then uh it was my turn and then i well it wasn't sort of my turn i won the next sort of the next spin landed on me so then it was my turn to pick a peg and i chose this one in the corner and then obviously ollie chose one two up from me but yeah I decided to get to the peg and uh, yeah get the rods out right hand rod with the baiting pole uh, OG fruit and nut uh, just an original wafter solid bag bit of bait in it crumb pellet left hand rod same sort of thing but an OG fish magic bean 12 mil pink wafter and uh, yeah sort of same thing baiting pole to the uh, far margin well I'll say the margin the margin just to my left and um, middle rod I just casted towards the island. A few catapults of boilies over the top to see if we can entice a bite. But yeah, it's not an easy lake. There's four forties in here, as I know. Um, sort of Ollie let me know. I think there's about 110 fish, Ollie was saying. Um, sort of four forties, 10 thirties, I think, and the rest 20s. And he said there's not really much under 20 in here, so. Yeah, hopefully we can get a bite. All three rods are on the money. Uh, the left and middle are on a um, back lead. And the right one's just literally down in this margin, as you saw. But yeah, we're bringing it along you on our session. And um, let's see if we can have a PB or even a fish. Let's do this. So then, I forgot to mention in the last clip, um, we sort of brung all of our stuff round got it all in the swim and that and then uh, at this fishery there's a rule where you have to dip your net sling and mat so what we did we got hold of our net sling and mat and we took it round to the dip tank and uh, yeah we all dipped all of our stuff See if we can have a Nossa though. Got Ollie next to me. Here's the lake. This is just next to Ollie's swim, just a little like sort of 
little small swim. But yeah, hopefully we can have a fish. Come on. Right, so Ollie, earlier I saw sort of a splash in your swim. And uh, yeah, I knew it was a fish, obviously, but then there was another one. Yeah. So I thought, oh, you're clipping up. But what actually happened, mate? I was literally just messing around getting my bank sticks in, and then one of the, well, a fish showed up against the island, just up sort of in front of me, like middle of the island, about oh, a foot yeah. off of it. And then I thought, yeah, I'm going to put a rod on that. And then immediately after, it just jumped out again. And then immediately after, <laughs> it jumped out again. And then it probably swam down maybe to eight to ten feet or so, a rod length or something. Down here. And then it leaked out again and I thought I'm putting a rod on that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I did actually end up putting a rod on it had to be done didn't it yeah I'll say that's the only thing that we've seen pretty much all morning yeah, yeah, basically yeah, yeah. so yeah I put a put a solid bag on that put one down in my right hand margin and then one out in between the islands in the channel yeah nice so, mate fingers crossed so it's a hard lake anyway but fingers crossed we have a couple of fish yeah Steve's just over here and now uh, what I was just doing I was just chatting to the camera you said there's four forties in here with yeah. ten thirties, did you say? Something like ten thirties, maybe a few more than that, and then basically every other like sort of fifty, sixty, twenties basically. Yeah, nice. Um, but yeah, a good head of thirties to back up the twenties and then four or five depending on the time of the year. Some of them creep up to forty. Yeah, nice. Um, so yeah, nice. Hopefully we can get one. We've got three rods out each. Steve's only got two rods out. Um but yeah, I'm all set up. The swims are quite close together. And uh, Ollie's just got the bed up and that. But I've got the bivvy up. I'm all set. I'm done. Oh, you've got your bivvy up, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely lake. I'll definitely be revisiting here. Hopefully, we can get a fish, though. Come on. It's a mirror. Mate, it's so... What's it doing? It's literally just swimming towards us. That looks a nice one, bruv. Not magic fish. Brother. OG fish rock Let's go. She's in the net, mate. Yes! Get in there, mate. Bruv, let's go. Give me a fish pump, brother. Let's go. Hopefully, it, it'll behave himself for you. But yeah, what an absolute spanker. Proper nice condition. Not a scale on him, apart from up the ridge of his backs there. But yeah, what a fish. But yeah, what an absolute spanker. Proper nice condition. Not a scale on him, apart from up the ridge of his backs there. But yeah, what a fish. So he plodded in, but yeah, didn't really give much of an account for himself. Proper nice and clean, isn't it? Like, Mirror, bro. Ollie doing the business again. Park Mate's doing the business <laughs> again, mate. You know the score. Yeah, solid bag, chucked to a show. Funnily enough, I got all the shows, basically a couple of washes on the island while I was setting up. So I put one on it, and it was the one that went. Get in there, Let's bro. go. Parker Bates, OG Fish, doing the business. As, As usual. usual, mate. Mini mix pellet. Oh, yeah. Get Thank you, enough. darling. Let's go. Go get your 50 pounder, boys. He's hooked in. Let's go, mate. You're an absolute G. Same rod, same tactics, same hook bait, same place. Rinse and repeat. That's what I like to do. Same but solid yeah. bag. It looks like another. <laughs> mate, same, same fish. Was, I don't know. It does look like the same fish, to be honest, mate. Mate, that's another but banger, isn't it? It is a banger. I don't know if it feels heavier or if I'm just weak. Swim booker out and Parker Bates. Yeah. All booked on the swim booker. Caught on Parker Bates. Absolutely lovely. Get in there, bro. quickly show you this side and we'll get him back because yeah it's not a not a massive one and I want to try and get another bigger one let's go bang on gosh he's raring he gave me a bit of a tear under the rod tip very live he probably gave me a better fight than the other two to be fair yeah, I was gonna say that but yeah see you later mate cheers bro 
Let's On go. to the 30. Right. Let me quickly screen record this for you all. Right. So we're just going to run, sort of, run you through what the Swimbooker app offers and how good the actual app is. So just starting off, Ollie, what's your experience have been with the Swimbooker app? Uh, I've used it probably 10, 15 times now. For I've been using it for about a year. Um, and yeah, it's really changed the way I book and like, especially with me always being last minute, like not being able to phone up the fishery when it's closed, being able to just book on literally whenever, wherever, as long as you've got internet connection, you can book on to yeah. literally any, well, most lakes, if it's on the swim booker, obviously you can book on there. There's going to be more coming soon. So yeah, always keep an eye out for the new lakes. So yeah, obviously the swim booker app makes it really easy for you to book the lake you want the day what time you want to arrive sort of what the fishery allows and uh, yeah it allows you to find new fisheries which we're going to bring me on to that now so obviously you can search near you and you can find new lakes near you that maybe you didn't know about or maybe you want to fish so then you can book on them um but they don't only offer sort of lakes near you they've got lakes all up and down the country haven't they ollie yeah but not only that as well they've got lakes abroad as well places like france and obviously you can target the species of fish that you want to catch so for me and ollie and steve sorry there's a fish just <laughs> fish on my just spot um out there. so yeah for me ollie and steve we're targeting carp like we, we sort of there. usually do yeah. So yeah, say, we're at Elphix I'd, Fishery. Just on that, we're at Elphix Fishery. You can't actually book. Um, you used to be able to come in to Elphix and book, like, at the till or whatever. You can't actually do that anymore. You can only either book or, via phone or swim booker. So if you're phoning, you want to phone up out of hours and you can't, swim booker is the one for you. 100%. So, yeah, as I was saying, you can find new lakes for the species of fish you actually want to catch. So, just naming one here in France, Birch Predator. The species in it is carp and catfish, so if you're interested in that, head over to the Swim Booker app. Now, they don't only offer lakes to fish, they also offer a live chat, so if you have any questions you need to ask the team at Swim Booker, um, they're more than happy to help you, they will reply ASAP. I, I think you've had a couple of problems, like, previously but they sorted it out instantly yeah yeah didn't they? yeah i can't Absolutely actually instant. i think i can't actually remember what what i messaged them about i think i was trying to book on to somewhere and i couldn't make a payment but it was something to do with my bank it wasn't even anything to do with swim booker yeah so i think you was typing <laughs> the number in wrong yeah right i was now. putting in the wrong bank number i think oh yeah i oh, made that was a nightmare but trying yeah. to rush that's me book trying to book last minute trying to like put my bank details in and i put <laughs> the wrong details in but still managed to get on but yeah, they, Swim Booker also offer uh, a sort of a pro membership, Swim Booker Plus. Now, if you join the Swim Booker Plus, there is a wait list. And uh, yeah, they offer you exclusive things like industry offers and discounts, in session and your bank side digital. And they also in, in offer insurance for your fishing gear. So if you're someone that has, you know, expensive fishing gear, if you like. Which most of the gear nowadays is. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can actually insure it so and worse comes to worse if it does you know get stolen you've got insurance on your gear so yeah that is absolutely brilliant yeah and you don't need to list like obviously what you've got and this that and the other um once you've got the insurance i think you're insured to up to 1500 pounds and then obviously if you get stuff nicked to make sure you keep your receipts and stuff and it'd be like any other insurance claim you do you need to yeah go through swim booker and get it all sorted out but it's nice to know you've, you've got that in the back of your mind if you're worst case it does ever get nicked um yeah you're you're covered yeah mate so within the swim booker plus it also allows you to sort of Look at your in-session information, if you like. So, it could, so like you've done this session, yeah, you've it's actually a new logged, feature. logged uh, Ollie's logged his catches. So on here it says free catches. He's done seven sessions with Swim Booker. And uh, yeah, if you click on in-session, let's let it load, yeah, and then the click in-session again. Ollie, what Ollie has done, and what you can do as well, you can actually update your activity feed as the session goes along. So on here I can see Ollie has just uploaded a common 
from Plantation, which is where we are, a £23 mirror from Plantation, and another £23 mirror from Plantation as well. So what that allows, that gets, it allows people to see the latest posts on the lake, and it also allows Ollie to log, obviously, what he's caught, and Instead when of me having it. to write it down in the diary or whatever, I can just log it on here, and I'm assuming um, the in-session thing's gonna turn into some kind of journal that you can look back on. Um, so yeah, I've just been writing my notes, what I caught it on, what my spot was, and yeah, it's all there, saved, ready for next time. And within the Swimbooker Plus sort of attributes, if you like, it allows you to check your statistics. So that's a hard word to say. Statistics, yeah. Um, <laughs> so on here, I'm sure Ollie don't mind. It says he's had seven sessions, total of 141 hours, three fish caught, 20 hour session length, average session value, 38 pound, fishery reviews, I'm sure you'll do that soon. To be honest, mate, the first six sessions I've done on there, I've caught fish, I just haven't bothered yeah, yeah. uploading the photos, so. Species caught, you get to see sort of your statistics on what you actually caught. Now, they also offer giveaways. Now, you entered one a few days ago, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, they now? did their first ever giveaway um, the other day that was live on Facebook. Um, yeah, some some lucky fella won himself like about about a grand, maybe £1,500 worth of stuff. Nash Titan, some other bits and pieces. But, yeah, it's great. And being part of the Swimbooker Plus, you get free weekly entry into the giveaways. So it's just another another perk. So yeah, I'm just looking at the Swimbooker app right now and it also allows you to have a sort of in-session live chat. Now what I've just saw here is it's also coming soon. So you can sort of chat to people in session about how the lake's fishing, what's coming out and things like that. So you can sort of get to know each other around the lake, who fishes it, you get to know the locals and things like that. Now, they also offer live in session weather reports now currently it's a few clouds temperature is 11 degrees it's chilly mate air pressures <laughs> 1019 sunset is at 411 and the wind is a northwesterly now that is going to change to an easterly tomorrow it's going to push right down into my corner but uh, i think for early access uh, i pay four pound 99 a month but i think it's about seven pound or eight pound a month now um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure, Jay, as Jay said, there is actually a waiting list to get onto Swimbooker Plus now. And one of the other um, perks of Swimbooker Plus, along with being um, having Elphix on there, the other lakes um, that are usually difficult to get on, which is North Lake, West End, and then I can never remember the other name, the other, the third lake. But yeah, the three basically main lakes on Elphix Complex, you you couldn't book on Swimbooker. But as of next year, January, maybe February time through Swimbooker Plus, we will get early access to be able to book onto these well-desired lakes that are normally fully booked by the 1st or 2nd of January every year. Yeah, and just touching on that a little bit, um, Andy from Swimbooker was actually on North Lake a couple of weeks ago and he actually managed this £50 ghost. What a banger. <laughs> Mate, well in, Andy. But yeah, they also offer a shop on Swimbooker. Now you can buy t-shirts. This is exclusive to Swimbooker Plus. Though. All right, this is exclusive to Swimbooker Plus as well. You can get t-shirts, caps, hoodies, cups, and uh, phone cases. They actually do, like, if you keep scrolling down, with items on, on sale or at a reduced price on there. So yeah, always worth a look and they're always updating um, all their stock because obviously they've only got limited stock which is why they get to sell it a little bit cheaper so make sure you always keep an eye out you might be able to pick yourself up a bargain and now if that Swimbooker Plus doesn't give you a sort of insight about what you could have so basically it's £5 a month yeah that is a very good price for obviously all the things we just said and more you actually get more with Swimbooker Plus but all the things we said that is worth more than five pounds yeah isn't it? yeah most especially definitely. the insurance on all your fishing gear that is such a good yeah i mean you'd pay more idea. than that for your insurance like most people probably pay that like pay for insurance and probably pay more than that yeah <coughs> but so. swimbooker plus is absolutely mega but download the swimbooker app 
and use Swimbooker to book your fishing session. You can still use the free version. Yep, you don't have to get Swimbooker Plus, but I certainly recommend it, and so does Ollie. But you can also use the normal yeah. Swimbooker app to book your fishing sessions. It makes your booking so much easier. As Ben likes to say, it is literally idiot proof. You cannot go wrong on Swimbooker. So yeah, make sure you head over there now. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we can get another fish. Yeah, and cheers for Swim Booker for letting us be able to book this session. Let's go. Let's go. Here's the bag. Let's get it out. Going fish in half hour yeah. on the island again so it's a no-brainer he's getting his left hand rod and he's gonna put it on the island but yeah he's just doing whatever he's doing at the minute single hook bait single hook bait and uh, yeah see if that can produce a 40 let's wait and see well then so Sorry about the lighting, um, it's about half seven. I just cooked up a bit of dinner, had a bit of bacon. And I don't know why I always do this. Whenever I take a bite out of my food, I always remember I didn't show the vlog. So then I end up showing it with a bite out of it. But anyway, we got a lovely bit of bacon, bit of ketchup as well. But yeah, but yeah um, I can hear a few fish sort of milling about now in my area. I've had a few show, about two or three maybe. But yeah, a couple shown over Ollie as well. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to listen out, see if I can hear any more. And if I keep hearing a Bosch in the same area, what I'll do, I'll get a solid bag straight on it. Because I really want to catch one of these lovely fish. But yeah, for now, I'm going to sit back because it's absolutely freezing. Got my Reed's Comforts hoodie and sned keeping me warm. If you want to get some of the best clothing, equipment and accessories in the game, Go over to Reed's Comforts and use code J for 10% off all orders. But yeah, I'm going to sit in my bed chair, listen out. Hopefully we can bag a fish. Come on the carp. And so good morning. It's about half seven, eight o'clock now. Um, nothing happened in the night for any of us. But there was a few boshing. But now we can actually see what's happening. So if we hear a Bosch, we can see sort of where it was. So I know I'm going to leave my rods out till about 11-ish. And if I see any Bosches, I'm going to straight away get a rod on it. Because I really want to try and get one of these beautiful fish. But yeah, I reckon I'm going to get some bacon on the go in a minute. And uh, yeah, it's a bit cold still. It's raining as well, so gonna be packing away in the wet but for now I'll uh yeah I'll leave it with you and um get some breakfast on the go and let's get some carp on the bank come on And Jay hasn't redone his rods this morning, and a fish has literally boshed on the spot on his left hand spot. So, fingers if you look crossed. Look at the line, look where that's going. It's going to that fish. Yeah, that right. is feeding on that OG fish I put out last night with a catapult. You can just about make out the bubbles on the surface. But yeah, that was a decent <laughs> fish. Fingers crossed. You can tell the wind's cool. changed, didn't it? Yeah, the wind it's is. Not much wind, but it has changed. So then, a fish is actually boshed right on top of my spot, which is interesting because it's coming up to clean his gills. So hopefully it's been down there milling about on them three offerings I put out there. But yeah, I've not redone my rod yet this morning. I've still got a solid bag out there with an OG fish wafter. But yeah, I'm probably going to give it another hour, hour and a half, and then um, yeah, I might redo it, but... For now, I'm just going to sit back and watch, see if any more fish bosh. But yeah, that's a very good sort of 
sort of good news if you like but fish are down here now but yeah i've put bags i put socks on then plastic bags and then more socks so my feet don't get wet anymore <laughs> but yeah come on the parker baits come on the swim booker come on the reed's comforts and come on the car Bosh. just moved his rod and he's just had two fish bosh on his spot <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> I'm redoing my rod, mate. Yeah, mate. Don't blame you. Come on. So then it's still raining, but um, I'm starting to have a little slow pack down. Just going to cook the rest of my bacon, but I can't find it. So, that's great. I haven't got a clue where I've put it. But yeah, I'm about to cook some more bacon so that don't go to waste. But I've put a rod to the far side now because there's no one fishing there. It's sort of by an aerator. And then I've still got the one in the margin where the fish boshed. And one litchy just down to my right margin as well. But yeah, as I'm looking out there, it looks proper carpy. And make sure, if you want to book any sessions, or if you want to find new lakes, new venues, head over to Swimbooker, because that is the perfect place to find the species you want to catch, or even the Lake of Dreams, if you like. That is the perfect place, so head over there now, have a little mooch about, see if you find a new lake that you want to fish, and get booked on. Let's get this bacon cooked. Bye! Come on, son. Literally, just went to see Ollie. And this left hand rod had three beeps went. Well, maybe more than three went beep, 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 beep. But I've come back and it's nothing happened. But that one's out on the margin out here. But that is such a good sign. Come on, the carp. Look at that little robin. He's been on, been on both of the rods now. Look at him, look. Oh, he's on that one now. That's sick. Oh, now he's on a Parker Bator. Oh, and he's gone. See you later, mate. then everyone that is our session here at Elfix finished and uh, yeah we knew it weren't gonna be easy Ollie had some amazing angling managed to nick free there must have been some sort of maybe the previous person's bait there left over or you never know there might have been some sort of bed there but there was something there that they definitely wanted um, but yeah but sort of soon as it had maybe gone or they ate it all the bites just stopped but yeah i had a little five five beep liner or something um earlier but nothing came of it it might have been a little pick up and it done me but you never know i left it because i didn't know what it was um but yeah if you haven't already make sure you head over to swim booker this is how you actually book this lake and many other lakes around the country and around the world sort of in france and that but yeah it's definitely a plus to angling it makes booking your sessions so much easier and finding new waters that you can fish a lot easier as well but i hope you enjoyed this video this little 24 hour session and uh, yeah if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe and uh yeah turn the notifications bell so you don't miss the next upload we'll see you soon bosh